everybody, welcome to Round the Twist episode 212. It's July 1st. Happy Canada Day to all my Canadian viewers. Uh, since I won't see everybody else and before the uh, United States celebrates their Independence Day, happy 4th of July as well. Uh, we're really not going to be doing much, I don't think. Uh, might wait and see how the babies do. Might take them down. Uh, they do fireworks over one of the lakes here in the town we're living in now, so we might take the babies down for that. We'll see. See how it goes. I'm not sure. We'll just kind of, kind of play it by ear. So, first things first. Coffee. Uh, I have. <laughs> I think it's root beer float. I think I'm finishing off my root beer float. Daisy Duke. Excuse me while I go punish my husband's dog. No. Okay, which baby gave the dog their cheese? Gross. So I brought the kids down snacks and the dog got one of the cheese sticks. It must be Gabe's because Tara has hers in her hand, so ew. Disgusting. Welcome to my world. Yeah, you lost your cheese stick. That's just tough. You gave it to Daisy. Or you put it on the ground where Daisy could get it. Daisy, come here. You know you're not supposed to eat the baby's food. Go away. You're in trouble. Go. Daisy. Go. Go away. Okay, sorry about that. Coffee. Where were we? <sighs> Mama life, I tell you. Welcome to my world. I'm glad I looked over and saw that. Otherwise, wow, that could have been bad. Uh, I believe the coffee I have is root beer float, if I remember. Yeah, it's root beer float. Uh, I'm hurrying up and finishing off. I'm actually cutting it kind of close for how much coffee I have left in the cupboard. Yeah, there's more Duplo in that box. I know. I'm not getting them out, though. Uh, I just placed an order to San Marco. I can't, uh, well, end of last week. It's due to get here tomorrow. Thank goodness, because I'm kind of running close here, and I'm going to tell you what I ordered. Well, the new stuff. Anyway, I ordered some of my usual, um, I think, four or five pounds of my usual flavors. One that was new last time, the strawberry wave cheesecake. I only got a half pound last time. It was amazing. Everyone at work loved it, so I ordered a full pound. And then I went through and was like, Let's get a bunch of new stuff. So I ordered half pounds, and you'll see me try these all on the show eventually, of apple crumb pie, carrot cake, maple walnut fudge, peanut butter cup, I don't know how that one's going to turn out, pumpkin spice, s'mores, surfing tango, and watermelon. I'm pretty sure I've had surfing tango before. If I remember right, it's a combination of vanilla, uh, Kahlua, and something else. Maybe it's like a coconut rum flavoring. I can't remember for sure, but those are the extras that I ordered, and hopefully they'll turn out good. If not, uh, you'll see me spit it back into my cup like I was scared I would do the first time I tried root beer float on the air. If you hear any little voices in the back, I do have the babies back here. I'll, I'll talk about it later, but if you hear noise, it's because I've got something going on the iPad for them to keep them occupied, hopefully for a little while longer. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into, it's a knitting show, right? Knitting and crafting, not babies and dog punishing. Now the munchkin's coming to suck up that she, cause, since she was naughty. So, first thing I have on the needles, the, uh, <laughs> the zombies are coming socks, and this is the first one. These are for hubby. They are a 72 stitch vanilla sock with a heel flap this time. Something different for him. I've always done afterthought heels for him before. I'm knitting it up on US 1's, a 2.25 millimeter needle. And it's out of the Neely's Knits Ink Blot Blanks, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon in the Knit Faster Zombies Are Coming. So the Ink Blot Blanks, I know I've explained it before, but here we go again. Uh, they are. A pre-knit blank, so almost like a knitted scarf, basically. And then you dye them, or a dyer dyes them. Oh, and I'm sorry, my nose is running for some reason. Uh, so a dyer dyes them up, and then you 
destroy them basically to knit your object. So you unknit, so you've got this kinky. Yeah, there's puppies on the computer, I know. That's toffee. Oh, nope, Gabe. Here, come here. So, here, come help, Mama. Come co host. So, I'm working on the second one. I was still working on the leg last time, but I managed to finish the leg and get the heel flap and turn done, and I'm picked up and working on the gusset just barely. I've got like one and a half rounds done for the gusset. So, a little bit of progress. Obviously, very different coloring this sock versus the first sock. A lot more red, which is fine. Uh, that's the nature of this. And I have. Uh, I have the Ur from Knit Faster and Coming left <laughs> from the Knit Faster Zombies Are Coming. So I'm a little over halfway done with the blank. I'm going to have plenty. No, you can't. No. Oh, good gravy. Never mind that they've absconded with my iPad and what I've got going on back there. But now Gabe wants my phone and paint sparkle. Hang on. Okay. There you go, Gabe. It's a little finger painting app that the babies love. So, working on it, slowly. Uh, like I said, I'm a round and a half. Oh, there you go. A little warning popped up that I had the sound off. Trust me, you don't want to hear the sound for that app. So, I'm working on it, slowly. I don't know why this week has not been... A knitting week for me. I just, I haven't, I've sat down, I've gone to reach for my knitting and it's like, meh. Uh, we've been having fun, we've pulled out the pool, we've been outside in the pool a couple times, yeah. And uh, just haven't felt like knitting. My, For some reason my wrists have hurt, maybe the weather's changing, we've had a few thunderstorms come through, but nothing awful. Maybe it's the fact we're finally drying out too. We haven't really had a ton of rain like we've had for the last month, so my joints are getting used to that. But instead of knitting, obviously I didn't work on the sweater, I haven't spun. Instead I did a whole lot of cross stitching. So in the last week I managed to finish March on the Once Upon a Time sampler from, Fro from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery that ended up being the three little pigs and I got everything done uh, including a good chunk of border going down the side so April, May, uh, when I get to June I won't have to do any border because here let me unfold it fully for you I already enclosed that I still I just I had thread left on the needle so I just kept going till I ran out of thread so are you drawing well that's very pretty yeah can you draw more Whoa. Here, go play with it. Go play. Oh, you don't want it anymore? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you go watch Mickey Mouse? Surprisingly unwhiny. So like I said, Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries, Once Upon a Time Sampler. Uh, I'm getting ready to start. Ooh, gosh, Gabe, careful. You almost knocked Mama's coffee over. Careful. Do you want to play with Daddy's sock? Go play with that. <laughs> I'll give him anything as long as it's not breakable. Sock blocker with sock on it is pretty. Bum. Yeah. That's fun. So, I would show you if Tara wasn't attached to my iPad right now. Uh, the Once Upon a Time sample was initially sent out on a month by month basis. Thank you. You want it back? Okay. And so every month they just added to what they'd already sent out. So before it was even released, they sent out the whole the grid with the border around it. So if you had time and wanted to get started early, you could. And then in January they sent out just the first, like the whole pattern, but with just the first block filled in. February had both January's and February's filled in. February had or March had. January, February, and March. So I'm kind of sending that to myself in pieces. 
uh, so I don't get overwhelmed looking at the whole one going, oh my gosh, I have so much left to do. I can just focus on the most recent block. Uh, so I just emailed myself, because I keep all of the, my patterns on my desktop computer, I just emailed it to my Gmail account so I could pull it up on my PDF reader. I think I have PDF Expert that I use for knitting patterns and cross-stitch patterns. So I can start working on April, which will be, if I remember right, it's... Really? If I remember right, it's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, so yeah, I've spent the last week doing that. And I don't know why, I've just been completely and utterly absorbed with it, and I love it, and I'm love. no, thank you, no thank you. No, okay, we don't need to play with the keyboard. Where's the sock blocker? Where's Daddy's sock? Well, don't go, I don't know, where'd you put it? Is this it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I tell him to find something. If it's not within six inches, he goes, oh, oh no. So that's everything that I've done this week. It's going to be a very short show, obviously, because I'm done telling you about everything that I've worked on so far. Uh, the fairies and sundry, obviously, we're into that. I have one. Oh, do you want me to put those together? Obviously, this is the baby show. There you go. And what do you have, Tara? You have a number two. That's how old you're going to be. Two. Well, quit taking them apart, and then you don't have to shriek at Mommy to put them back together. There you go. Here. Let me put a third one on. Whoa. It just blew his mind. Three Duplo go together. Well, <laughs> yep, there's a little person, and look, he can sit right there on top. It's okay. Gabe can play with the little person. You've got the blocks. Aye. Okay, upcoming events. I knew this was a bad idea. This is why I usually record while they're napping, and they didn't nap as long today. <laughs> so, uh, Next event is SSK in Nashville. And that's going to be July 15th through the 19th. It's about, well, about, I'll be fl flying out two weeks from today. Do you want to come see me? Come here. Say hi, Tara. Can you say hi? Say hello. Hello. She's like, I don't see myself, Mom. I'm not going to say hi. Uh, so two weeks from today, I'll be flying into Nashville. I can't wait. Uh, I'm going to have a few days away from these little savages. Go babies. Uh, I just discovered, Gabe, stop. <laughs> Mama's gonna put him away. Yep, yep, this is why we can't have nice things. Gonna close it, look out, watch your fingers. <gasps> watch your fingers, yay! <laughs> oh, meltdown, great. So we'll try to finish this up. Uh, it's going to be nice just to have a few days away from the savages, obviously. It's okay, I promise. I promise. Uh, my parents are coming out to help the hubby watch them. And, yeah, hopefully I'll get lots of knitting, crafting, adult Down. time done. Down. 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 Are you going to be good if I put you down? Down. Well, I don't know if you're going to be good if I put you down either. Are you going to be a whiny McWhinerson? Hmm? Okay. Put you down. <sighs> We've also got the redemption knit along, craft along. <laughs> See, I knew you weren't. The redemption knit along, craft along going. Obviously, I did not work on my county redemption sweater this week. I'm planning on getting back to it. I. Just today, I finally got a desire to knit on the sweater. So, I'll be doing that. Oh, you whiner. And, yeah, oh, I was going to tell you, the thing that I was hoping would keep them occupied, uh, obviously, toddlers, we have Disney Junior on in our house constantly. And uh, they have a free Disney Junior app that if you have cable, um, you just log into your cable provider through their, Dis I think it's Watch Disney Junior app, 
and all of their shows are available for free. All these two are obsessed with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Obsessed. Uh, and it was keeping them occupied upstairs. And I think it's just because we're down in the basement and it's somewhere different that it's not right now. So, uh, very short show this week. I am very sorry, everyone. Daisy. Yep, that's Daisy. Yes, it is. Daisy. Who are you? Are you Gabe? Where's Gabe? Where's Gabe? Where's Gabe? <laughs> he normally covers his eyes to play peekaboo if you do. Where's Gabe? Where's your head? There it is. Good job. Uh, so I'm going to let you all go now that you've had your little baby fix. And we'll see everybody next week. Hopefully I am planning on recording while I'm at SSK. I'll probably record the weekly show a day early and take the flip with me and record while I'm there and then upload uh, while once I get home because I won't have a means of uploading them while I'm there. So I think that's it. And until next week, happy knitting. <laughs>